Okay, when to add essential oils to soap. You add essential oils to soap and I think fragrance. I'm not a fragrance person, but I add fragrance at the same temperature and I've had success. You want to take your manual candy thermometer that doesn't have glass, that just has the glass here only. There's a couple different kinds of candy thermometers. And you want to stir it around in your soap good and then read the, the reading. And if it's under 160 slightly or at 160, but not over 160, and this one is exactly at 160, then you can add essential oils or fragrance. Um, this is a play sand soap, so it's an exfoliant. So I call it the Terminator. And then when you stir it, um, of course this has sand in it, that makes a little difference, but you just slowly stir it until it fully absorbs into the soap and instead of looking shiny, it goes back to an opaque appearance. Uh, when you have the opaque appearance, then you have thoroughly stirred. And of course, you've got to dig around in the edges, bring it up from the crevices, dig, dig, dig. And as you can see, I'm already starting to turn back, but you can see little shiny places, and then you can see opaque places. So, I'm not fully, it's not fully blended. If you don't fully blend it, your soap will sweat during the cure, the essential oils that did not get blended in the soap. Okay, so now you can see that I have no shiny places and it's back to the opaque, opaque, opaque appearance. And so this soap has had essential oils added to it at 160 degrees.